Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to explain how to demonstrate how to replace the battery on a Dell Precision 5560. We have a replacement here that we sourced off Amazon for $86 Canadian, so let's call it, I don't know, $60 US, something like that. Uh, it's a very simple process, uh, but it scares people. You don't need to pay somebody to do this, you could do it yourself. And uh, by the way, this, this instruction is not just for the Dell Precision 5560, but also uh, will work for the XPS 15, 9500, the uh, Precision, a bunch of Precision products, Alienware M15s, R6, R7, M16, R3, R4s, 7510, 70, it goes on and on and on. I'll put a full list on the screen so you can see it to see if yours is covered with this. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is that in uh, the Precision case, uh, a standard Phillips screwdriver will not do. What you need is a uh, very small Torx. So let's get these screws out. Pro tip, by the way, when you're taking the screws out, lay them out in the order in which they came out. Now I know in this case, they're all the same, so it doesn't make any difference. But if you have different size screws in different places, it's always handy to put them back in the same place. Okay, so I have a pry tool. Uh, this is an iSesame one, but you, you don't need this. You can just use a credit card. Just use something old that you don't care about. What we're looking for is a pry point along here, and they used to have a little hole cut in so you could pry them off, but that doesn't exist anymore. So now what you have to do is take your card and jam it in, there it is, and separate it. There it is. And when you're in here, always blow these out. If you don't have any compressed air, just blow it out with your mouth. You don't need to do that, but it's always a good idea. Okay, so we'll quickly go over the parts here. You got your CPU fans, which are the most notable thing in here, uh, but the actual CPU is here. The heat pipes take it out. And you've got your hard drives here, uh, which uh, they've got these copper covers, which help dissipate the heat. Memory, if you need to replace it or upgrade it, it's easy. Just pull it out 30 degree angle, you can replace it, easy to do. Uh, what we care about is the battery. First thing you want to do when you're working with the battery, disconnect it. So you can see the connectors here. So just take that and slide it back. Don't pull on the wires if you can avoid it. There's a little pull tab here, but you also want to push on that if you can. There it is popped it out. Yay. Now, screws. This you can probably use a Phillips for. Yep, you can. There we go. I'm just using a small Phillips to zero. Now, for some reason, Dell chose to use different size screws here. Now, they're black, so that's a bit of a clue, but they're a uh, different uh, head, so it's a larger uh, Phillips, which is the star, but uh, I can't tell you the number because it's not a number one and it's not a zero. It's somewhere between the two. So. Feels like there should be one over here, but I don't see it. Oh, there is one right there. Okay. okay, so now you've got your screws out and before you start ripping this out, what you need to do is pull this little tape back to get the access to this uh, wire. <laughs> Take our credit card, pry this out. There we go. Out it goes. Now, these screws, I yep, they, they're left in there. I'm going to flip this over. Let's see if I can get them out. Yeah, they're just going to drop off now. There we go. Good. Let's take the new battery. Before you put it in, always do a smell test to make sure that it's about the same. And yep, it's about the same. It's curved in the front. It has the same notches. Now, you see here that there's a ribbon that needs to come off. So carefully... Pull that, there we go. Get that tape off. Come on, lift up. There we go, good. Okay, so take the old battery, put it away. New battery lined up. Squish it down, pop that little ribbon down. There we go, that's on. Put that there. Now, just do everything in reverse. Slide that in. Actually, let's start from the back. Let's go that way. Yeah, that's the way to go. Make sure that wire is not trapped. Pinned underneath. That's not a good thing if it is. Okay, now let's plug this connector in. There we go. Good. Done. Make sure that's down everywhere. It is. That's happy. I'm going to put this tape on next. 
Make sure that that ribbon is not over top of this, it needs to be on the side. And start popping the screws back in. If you ever drop a screw inside a chassis like this, don't panic. Just tip it upside down and tap it out. Now be careful not to put it in there. That's the screw for the uh, back. Okay, now just before you're done, go around and twerk these down again. Yeah, that one's a little bit loose, just to make sure that everything's tight. That's it. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Subscribe's also appreciated. If you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. Because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.